happy afternoon my dear brothers and sisters for this wonderful opportunity my dear brothers and sisters i have been given an opportunity to discuss about indirect taxation of paper 8 which is after you know getting drained with seven efforts you will be stepping into the eighth paper my dear focus area should be this way i just want to have you on a holistic basis we all know 30 marks is going to be an mcq area and uh, case studies basically for this i clearly want to lay down case studies please stop looking at any telegram group please stop looking at you know any other private sources or you know materials i would strongly suggest you and given the evidence that the past questions of course we don't have to you know we will not be getting the mcqs out we will be getting only the balance you know questions out but whatever the experience which we have been getting from our beloved brothers and sisters after writing the examination i could very clearly tell you all here i could very clearly tell you the focus area is going to be institute study material so please understand focus on institute publication ca institute has uh, given you uh you know a clear publication for this mcq area so institute material has to be respected my dear brothers and sisters please focus more on that case studies i believe there are close to close on 150 page case study material has been given by the icai please focus that day to day basis right from today if you start one case study a day it's more than sufficient time you have i i suppose there is only 70 75 case studies there for us please focus on the institute institute uh, you know material and focus on that and uh, don't go behind that that i would say it's a mad rush running behind you know everyone uh, private authors and uh, you know uh, telegram groups sharing this that yes content availability of content is great what they would have done they would have you know altered the numbers they would have altered the characteristics name if it is x and y here that will be a and b and if it is 5000 or 10000 here it is going to be multiplied by 2 or divided by 2 by doing this they are trying to you know put a just a sticker on the on the icai material by simply moderating it with all due respects those efforts are also commendable i am not here to comment on those efforts but you have been so gullible that you believe that institute material is less than other material that's the gullible part that is where the first seed for failure has been sowed so i strongly here to advocate even i even even i have my own publication to go with i strongly recommend institute study metal as a source of success and next to this 30 marks having done so first priority for mcq and case study we have no other choice and if you think there is a choice that is your own risk you are making and please i'm telling you don't ever excuse yourself if you make a mistake by ignoring institute study material that is totally not acceptable at all right so it is something like a basic saying in the law ignorance of juris ignorance of law is non juris the same way ignoring the institute material is also non warranted or unacceptable so please go through the ism and the i institute publication based case studies which has been upgraded that has been presented my dear i have been saying this year and again year and again year and again time and again for all these years to you but again even in how many more opportunities i get i'll cleanly understand i'll cleanly underline this of you know insistence you guys have to go through with the institutism there is no second thoughts about that right my dear so that's something which you all will uh, you know agree which i believe now let's proceeding from there first what i should do sir apart from see this mcq is a systematic preparation case study is a systematic preparation right from today institute publication 150 pages 75 case studies bare minimum i am going to do it on a day to day basis every day one or two case studies that's more than sufficient for me to get prepared for this 30 marks absolutely fine 30 marks is now in your kitty barring this i have four exorbitant volumes available with me how shall i proceed about on a day before examination so here i am going to present you a day before examination approach which topic you should take first logically and why it is so my first bet is after refreshing yourself you have to take with something called volume 4 volume 4 which is basically customs and foreign trade policy and uh, my dear every one chapter is important there is no second thoughts there is no second thoughts 
I would very clearly say 24 chapters in GST and 9 chapters in customs. Sir, 9 yeah, one more chapter. Warehousing has also been added, right? So, all the chapters are important. I am not here to tell you. Uh, read only these. These are the expected area. Abdina, I am not here to say. I am here to say what is actually, you know, imp uh, which you should not miss a revision on a priority basis, okay? Uh, you, I can tell you even that as a important. But I am very clearly refraining here from saying that these are expected in the examination because I am not jadukar to say i am not a magician to bring out and say these are the expected ones right my dear priority areas i would say these are priority areas without referring to these areas if you step in you are inviting a trouble so if you refer these areas and you go to the examination you will have an extra buffer right so the whole objective is to ensure there is no panic happens in the examination hall in three hours there is no surprise happens and we are come so whatsoever my dear 70 years 140 examinations bare minimum institute examination standards have always been set at the highest level that is why our values of being a chartered accountant and our alma mater's value is remaining same as a you know a mother organization so we have to think all these things as i as and as and as and when you and me are discussing at this particular point of time what is priority in, in idt there will be a lot of other current affairs deviation including the iia keep away all those things and please do your duty that's very very important so let's go ahead and first check out with first one so what i'm supposed to take and go through with you know volume four first complete all valuations customs valuation is a first priority followed by warehousing a newly inducted chapter this is expected area in the examination sir few minutes before you said it's not expected no i'm saying you treat whatever i'm saying as a priority area i want to be very clear don't term it as expected questions i clearly refrain from making any problem by making you all believe that these are the only expected areas others will not come no my dear i am here to guide you for abundance if you follow this far sure abundance will be there but i am not saying these are the expected questions i want to clearly refrain from that statement so warehousing is the next area my dear warehousing you might get a question from anywhere it might be applicability it might be you know uh, time limit limitation it might be you know interest calculation wherein number crunching will it be possible yes number crunching is possible in interest calculation interest calculations for the period of stay interest calculation for the period of stay there is a probability and in this regard i also insist you do practice rtp question number 18 do practice rtp applicable for the may 22 examination question number 18 which will give you the absolute clarity how to go about right so next to warehousing i would insist to go about duty drawback and and duty drawback next to duty drawback you have to prepare something called import and export procedure and my dear these are all revision methodologies I am giving you. Okay. These are all revision and not preparation. Okay. These are all day before examination. How you should revise, what you should revise. And why is there import export procedure? That's such a lengthy volume. What I have to focus, they are bill of entry. Time limit has got amended for the bill of entry. My dear, focus there. You might get a question over there. Next to that, your focus area has to be foreign trade policy. And after foreign trade policy, you have to come for something called baggages. And after covering the baggages, you have to, you are expected to come for something called types of duty, right? So, types of duty. And uh, after that, chapter number one, which is exceptions to the exceptions uh, to the customs law or customs levy wherein you will talk about uh, Dilrig, Jetsam, Flatsam, Rogue, uh, work and uh, you know you will also talk about uh, 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 what to say pilferages, abatements of customs duty and concessional rate of import, concessional concessional rate of goods at import duty that's a very, one more expected area market very important amendment has happened in the last you know area but not tested so this time there might be a probability goods at concessional rate of import of goods at concessional rate of duty there might be one possibility and you will be covering this all in this particular order and after that finally classification so the entire time you are supposed to take for covering the customs is likely to be four to five hours of your preparation time you have one and a half hours i'm i'm thoroughly agree but your preparation should be in such a way you should not spend okay max max on a higher end i would say six hours must be the maximum time you should spend to revise customs because there is nothing much left here 
for you to you know ponder upon so the first and foremost priority i would insist the first and foremost priority i would insist it has to be the first and foremost priority has to be with respect to this customs area and you have to complete the customs on a priority basis my dear in this mark my word valuation warehousing duty drawback foreign trade policy baggages exceptions the six chapters the six chapters i am saying it mark it very very important mark it very very important and uh, do practice all the institute study material illustrations and institute study material book back questions institute's latest rtp mock test please do practice without fail in this area and uh, mark it very clear out of the 25 marks in the customs even if close to 5 mark goes to mcq area or 6 mark goes to mcq area among the balance 19 if you cover the you know highlighted area in the yellow color you can aram say score close to close 15 marks in the remaining area so out of out of you know uh, the 25 allotted to this particular volume called volume number 4 i can very easily tell you the weightage you can score maximum the bare minimum i should say not maximum you can easily score 20 marks out of the total weightage of 25 marks right my dear so this is how you have to complete first volume 4 ensure 25 marks and of which i would say if you practice all these things you will end up ensuring 20 marks is your minimum takeaway i can guarantee you that i can guarantee you that provided you do a good revisioning of all these things and don't panic don't panic if you are not able to complete any syllabus within the specified time limit revision time depends on your original preparation time if originally you are prepared so nice 6 hours will be more sufficient but you are prepared long time and you have come back to simply revise it might not be there you might drag more time but ensure this is the timeline which you have to attend next to that what i am supposed to do sir next to that my dear you have to take up with volume number 3 so volume number 3 you should take so what is the whole ideology behind it sir after the examination that evening direct tax uh, or you know paper number 7 whatever it is that is completed now the moment completed that evening the whole objective you have to complete volume number 4 customs law and you should close that volume so next day when it starts so we have you know only one day and another half a day up to 12 o'clock so probably i would say from that effectively 36 hours i have of which you know 7 hours will go to the effective sleep so balance i have 29 hours in 29 hours i have to complete three volumes so logically this is how my priority should go so in volume number 3 what is the weightage sir the examination examination weightage of this chapters is 35 to 45 marks my dear 35 to 45 marks is the volume number 3 so first you are completing volume number 1 thoroughly and you are ensuring 20 marks so this is a green area which i want to keep it alive so i would say yeah it's a green which you are planning for so that's something which you can minimum guarantee and volume 4 when it volume 3 and comes every one chapter here is very very important yeah i am i'm not going to make any choices but here every one chapter is very small but again very very significant contributing somewhere close to 30 to 35 marks of which to start with the refund followed by assessment and audit assessment and uh, audit my dear please ignore the you know typo errors because the whole objective is to not to uh, type the content specifically just to give you you know hint about what we are doing okay so inspection search seizure and arrest demand and recovery liability in special cases so liability in special cases followed by appeals followed by appeals and uh, revision advance ruling appeals and uh, revision uh, penalties and uh, you know offenses and penalties advance ruling my dear brothers and sisters please appreciate within this chapter within this how many chapter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, within this eight chapter you have 35 to 45 marks of you know your examination priority lying across 
and my dear brothers and sisters please give a sincere revision in all this area wherever amendment has happened only in refund we have some amendments balance all areas are evergreen areas please do prepare in such a way that whatever the question comes so what i have to do sir first complete the institute ism followed by institute uh, you know illustrations and book back and then it should be rtp and mock test without fail and those will give you the complete edge my dear if you prepare all these chapters on priority basis and i have given this area again sir you give us a highlighting area what are all the contents is very you know important or significant from here why did i could say every one chapter is important because it's a complete volume it starts somewhere around 16 chapter and goes up to you know 24 chapters and it covers about nine chapters and every one chapter is important i can't have a pick saying that this is alone important that is not important i cannot say after completing this priority after completing this priority of volume number 3 my dear any other chapter in volume number 3 you can go ahead to and final frontier will be volume number 2 and volume number 1 see i don't want to discriminate volume number 2 and 1 but when it comes to volume number 2 and 1 together i just want to have the priority basis i just want to have the priority basis and i just want to you know go and complete the chapters in this order first chapter what you are expected to do and my dear if you do a sincere revisioning of these eight chapters mark my word mark my word how much is the minimum marks assured sir minimum you will you can assure yourself with 30 marks i am putting the bare minimum i am not giving the highest priority i am just saying bare minimum you can assure you is this much now after that what is that very very you know expected area sir valuation value of supply or i should say value of supply and followed by value of supply please go ahead to complete something called input tax credit and job work see i'm 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 aggregating job work here job work is one of the important area please mark it why sir there is an amendment of time limit to submit itc 04 which can be an mcq area itc 04 has to be earlier submitted on a quarterly basis now that has been split on the basis of aggregate turnover so it's very very important area so apart from that itc can be tested as a stand alone problem or a special situation can also be tested there so this is the order in which you have to do these are the top two priorities followed by next one is a set of procedural areas where in first you have to go ahead and complete something called registration my dear in this registration the following aspects are also very very important which is aadhar authentication and uh, next to the aadhar authentication it is a uh, you know uh, time limit for registration time limit for registration and this time limit for registration can be clubbed with something called revised tax invoice procedure so we have to be careful about this combination because tax invoice chapter can also be you know tested with and uh, registration uh, when when we say registration eligibility to the registration because at the highest level i can also think about eligibility for registration and when i say eligibility for registration please be mindful section 22 and section 24 can be clubbed can be clubbed with the various provision like input service distributor e commerce operator okay like rcm provisions with anything it can be tested and one such beautiful problem which uh, which presents you the scope and opportunity is rtp question number 16 with the current may 22 rtp question number 16 it presents a wonderful opportunity whether e commerce op whether any person who is supplying through the e commerce operator whether he is liable to register or not that's an excellent question why did i anticipate questions in those uh, category and next one is revocation of cancellation revocation of cancellation you can focus on this limit why sir the time limit for revocation of cancellation has been cancelled these are the priority areas in registration chapter because that's a biggest procedural chapter next to that is tax invoice debit note and credit note why did i don't anticipate a big question on debit note and credit note and uh, tax invoices but sampradaya i'm i'm keeping it last so next priority i would say is e waybill e waybill is the next priority my dear brothers and sisters when it comes to e waybill i keep my uh, applicability on this way applicability and then uh, you know validity of a validity of a e waybill and uh, restrictions for restrictions for 
uh, you know e weighable probably i would say with rule 138e rule 138e my dear mark these three things very very important and there is every probability it can be tested and uh, after completing e weighable you can come to tax invoice chapter okay that is when you can have uh, priority you know so i'm just giving the priority and in e invoice focus on e invoice uh, in tax invoice chapter focus on e invoice uh, uh, you know conditions and also look out for qr code for mcq area qr code on an mcq area that's quite prominent and because of the circle because of the circular which I, which they have given then that is a probable uh, area with which we have to look out and next to tax invoice i would directly go to return chapter wherein first priority has to be qrmp after qrmp it is a uh, it is a jstr 1 and jstr 3b i would say JSTR 1, JSTR 3B and after that your focus should be on the late fees. Straight away my dear brothers and sisters, look at this late fees I am giving you on the highlighted version because why sir, amendment has happened, very very important, market important, market important my dear, I anticipate a question on late fees to come with and after that what is it we can focus sir, we can focus with respect to uh, you know exemption chapters, straight away after this we can come to exemption chapters, only amendments keep focusing more on amendments over there there are a lot of things amended in the exemption chapter focus on the amendment area and next one is place of supply you can focus more on place of supply area straight away why is there standalone examination weightage of four mark is always from place of supply and this time to add up to that there is an amendment also there is an amendment also with respect to place of supply wherein the question the wherein the likely question if at all the amendment is tested, it will be a toss up between whether it's section 13, subsection 13 applies or vis a vis section 13, subsection 3, clause A will get applicable. So, this is uh, one particular question which is very, very interesting. Previously, this was with respect to, you know, uh, aircraft and vessel has been grand aircraft has been given now this has been extended to vessel as well that's a very interesting part which you have to you know add up to that particular area so amendment is also there and also to add up to that there is a question uh, in the current rtp which i would like to insist rtp question number 11 so please go through rtp question number 11 that is also adds up to the entire discussion and efforts has been placed and after that what we can focus on, we can force it, we can focus on RCM and after that RCM you can go for composition scheme supply and after that time of supply. So time of supply is always a light player which will not be having a big area. So this is the order in which you have to focus your preparation and my dear brothers and sisters and when a time, sub, time of supply is also there, always payment of tax will also come and payment of tax I concentrate or I would insist only interest calculation. There is a probability of interest calculation coming into picture so these are the areas these are the priority areas if i would say look at this volume 2 will have sir what is the total weightage of volume 1 and volume 2 put together sir see volume 1 and volume 2 and in which i have to i want to give a split specifically volume 2 will give you the weightage of 25 to 35 marks my dear and volume 1 will give you the weightage of including mcq 15 to 20 marks is the weightage over there so collectively put together i can say it's a 40 to 55 mark area but this is where priority have to come if you see analyze if you analyze my area of priorities in a very clear basis again i would have insisted more on volume 2 and then volume 1 there are multiple reasons for that volume 1 is predominantly looked at and tested exhaustively at the inter level so final level it is unlikely that they will test you on the fundas again on a deeper vein so volume 2 onwards the concentration will be a lot better and if you focus everything and if you focus everything and if you stick to the task of my you know priority areas these are the priority areas again i am underlying the facts these are the priority areas if you stick to these priority areas my dear brothers and sisters i would strongly reckon you can mop up you can beautifully mop up in this area somewhere around 25 marks per minimum if this priority areas is observed sincerely 25 to 30 marks you can observe bare minimum i would say 
so end of the day if at all if at all i want to go on count on the comfort zone with how much i can score if you check it out 20 bare minimum in foreign in in volume number four 30 in uh, volume number three that means put together there itself i cross my minimum requirement of 40 and aggregate of 50 and the buffer of this 25 to 30 meaning thereby the holistic abundance which i always insist to my brothers and sisters you will achieve that holistic abundance which will be you'll be scoring somewhere between 75 to 80 marks bare minimum you will be scoring this mark in the whole in the examination and my dear anything over and above i would be welcoming that for the sake of my aggregate and for the sake of scoring and going for the ranks so with this i just want to lay down one more insistent trust your preparation don't go for the last minute rush first on a priority basis complete rtp and mock test my dear brothers and sisters rtp plus mock test papers mock test papers of the institute material will give you the collective weightage of 15 marks bare minimum 10 to 15 maximum 15 minimum 10 is a bare minimum weightage which you can expect from these you know practice areas do practice don't audit do practice don't audit just keeping it in the hand and ticking it will not help you anyway my dear you have to write and you have to practice that's the most important thing which you all have to do so with this i trust and i pray to the almighty to bless you all in abundance with wonderful marks and my dear brothers and sisters wishing you a great examination experience and professional experience ahead wishing you all success keep all the doubts to the rest and work with complete faith in you my dear only the faith in you and the confidence you are carrying that's going to make a difference to your career so i wish you all success